Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was reading tahajjud and a group of jinnat they were going past the house of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam they heard the Quran and this is the first group of jinns who ever heard the Quran the kalam of Allah jalla wa ala these jinnat they heard the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam reciting the Quran they went back to the community they accepted Islam and then they conveyed the message of Islam to the to the jinnat and then a great delegation of the jinnat came to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught them deen the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught them the Quran communicated with the jinnat and then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave them food the bones of the animals the bones which are left from the meat upon which the word of Allah is recited that is your food from now on and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the food for your animals the jinnat they have their own animals the food for for your animals is the dung the droppings of our animals and then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to his companions do not use bones and the dung of your animals to clean yourself of impurities this is why to do istinja with bones is not permissible to make istinja with the dung of dried dung of or droppings of other animals you cannot do istinja with that why because the droppings of our animals is the food for the animals of jinnat and the bones the leftover bones that we have upon which the name of allah jalla wa ala is recited that is the food for the jinnat so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam blesses the jinnat